This is an Israelite Jewels recording. Chapter 4 And it came to pass, when we returned among those who were of our people, because they began to be proud, that we ministered among them until the days when Amoron, the brother of Amos, which were the sons of Amos my brother, yea, the one who replaced my father, Nephi, among the twelve disciples, when he took the leadership of the church among the Nephites. And among them we remain again until the days when Amoron hid the records that were sacred, three hundred and twenty years after the coming of Christ among the Nephites. It was then, in this year, that the Lord removed us again from the midst of this people and led us to a distant land to minister among the Jews and proselytes Gentiles. Five years after we were taken away again from this people, the Lord appeared to Mormon, when he was fifteen years old, for the purpose of to prepare to obtain these sacred records of the people of Nephi entrusted out to him by this same Amoron, of whom I spoke earlier. After some time, being ministering among the Jews and Gentile proselytes both in Jerusalem and in all parts of Asia, we were caught up from that place and reallocated again among this Nephite people. It was when we ministered among our brethren again and in the course these days I began to write this record that we were required to do, and the other two disciples who have accompanied me since then let me write our acts among the people of Christ one. That we should go out on the face of the earth, ministering among all people, yea, among the Gentiles and also among the Jews by virtue of the convincing power of God, who is with us. In the course of these years when we, the three disciples, remain among our own people again, behold, we minister to Mormon and his son Moroni, for the benefit of the records entrusted to him to compile on plates, for how much these records which I, Jonah, one of the three disciples of the Lord, was commissioned to do, which bears the name Acts of the three Nephites and also of a second record which my father Nephi wrote by request of the Lord as being the book of the prophecies of Samuel the Lamanite, and also the record I mentioned earlier on the revelations of John, written by me, Jonah, with eight of the other two disciples, concerning what we have seen and heard when we were caught up. These records, which I am referring to, were written by me and my father on scrolls of hides, which I delivered into the hands of Mormon at the time we ministered to him and his son Moroni, so that Mormon would transcribe them on the plates that were compiling and finally sealing its contents along with other records required by the Lord for a wise future purpose in which we will return and minister together to the one who goes to read these records in the fullness of times.